don't really know what they were up to, but it looks like they were kind of making a mess next to the um, CPU MOSFETs. Why we would do this, I don't know. Uh, I think first thing I'm going to do is just grab a donor and swap this and this so they're on there correctly. Uh, no missing screws in the device, surprisingly. This is nice. It's always fun to see. Someone's just, uh, you know, something doesn't open, so they just force it. Um, which is, you know, all, as we know, very good to do on uh, on uh, microelectronics is force things when they're not uh, doing what you want them to do. This is a pretty clean board otherwise. Um, I know that that around the CPU is not good, so we're just going to resolve that first before we actually run power through it and see what it does. Uh, again, assumedly, probably a lot of power has been run through this. While it's, you know, not, uh, that shouldn't be uh, happening, but we, we don't want to make it worse. Um, we'll probably do that and just clean off the uh, plastic kind of just dust on the uh, edge of the board here. Just with a dry brush. Oh, MacBook, who did this to you? I heard you. Um, this was sent in from a business, so that, that business is not the one who uh, hurt the MacBook board, but uh, their customer had told them that this has probably gone to like three places before. Okay, I went ahead and just grabbed a Donair. You can kind of see what it should look like. So, yeah, I don't know. Someone chipped this MOSFET and, uh, uh, oh god, I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't really know what would drive someone to replace that. They probably just saw like a low resistance measurement on the um, CPU conductor and thought that's the inductor. Actually, just see. Let's get some. Let's try this thing. Why would someone do this? Just like a normal resistance measurement on the CPU, we're getting like seven ohms. It's fine. Uh, okay, well let's get this. Uh, let's get this stuff off. This is not. Uh, you know. Let's get these off. We're just gonna leave the heat sink on to cover up the CPU. I don't want to heat that up. And probably also really good. But we'll see. We're at uh, 430, max airflow.
Okay, so we have our things on, and we put power in it, and this draws 5 volts and really, really low current, and we'll check our PV bus voltage. Uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, this just has a short circuit on uh, PV bus. Was the primary issue. I have no fucking clue why someone was messing around on the CPU MOSFET and inductors, right? We're getting like 2 millivolts on PP bus. We'll switch to resistance mode. I'm measuring uh, on the fuse right here for PP bus. Um, yeah. Um, hopefully, this still. Um, Works. Otherwise, we'll fix the uh, short circuit that we're going to solder a wire in the PD bus and get voltage and see what gets uh, spicy, basically. Here's my voltage injector things here. Why do I need someone to rip this board? Or MacBook. Um, Yeah, just solder on the fuse. Like I always see these, and they're just, you know, an SSD controller or something like that. Oh, yeah, we'll do this. It'll be easier. Put it right on this guy. Very silly to this one, but My table is hot there. For this right Short. 
probably not. Let's see. Jordy's gone. Quick turn on now. Let's get rid of our wire. Problem, but um, someone was just messing around with the CPU power delivery stuff for fun, I guess. Um, I don't know why they did that, um, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, and we're going to do our classic putting uh, put some formal coating glue over these SSD fuck regulators so this person doesn't get their storage uh, dead from having a tiny dusty computer like every other 16 inch MacBook Pro that ends up on my table. Okay, MacBook lives now. Um, I'm still not, apparently this actually went to like two or three different places for, uh, you know, data recovery, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the other shop this one's from, they said the customer had like three, uh, pamphlets for data recovery places and they're like MacBook, uh, molesting places. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, it looks like they were just messing around with CPU power delivery stuff. The actual issue was just a main power rail sh uh, short circuit. Just kind of the simplest issue you might actually have on these. Um, good thing they didn't try to inject voltage into the CPU, or else this would be dead forever. Um, but we have this thing working now. It passed uh, Apple Diagnostics. We're just cleaning up the board a little bit more. Um, this is for a data recovery. This should just be a working laptop, so they can just take this home, make a backup, basically. Um, don't solder stuff near the CPU. If you don't know what you're doing, it's really easy to kill these machines. Um, and uh, God, don't, don't don't take your ports to people that don't know what they're doing. Um, uh, I'm honestly really confused on the thinking on this. I, I think maybe the guy might have just seen like low-ish resistance around the CPU. So he sees five or six ohms on coils and he thinks, oh, short circuit. I'm going to start removing stuff. Um, very, very bizarre. Or maybe someone just, you know, knocked that component off or something. I'm not really entirely sure. Doesn't really matter. MacBook works now. And that is all we care about. So we'll see you in the next MacBook or whatever soldering repair video thing we have next. Have a great...